We start in the kitchen. It's time for another edition of Pelican Fish Tips with my good friend Ben Baird. He's the executive chef of uh, the Pelican Seafood Market and Grill. How are you, my friend? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Good. I'm doing great. With apologies to those of you that answered our call on Facebook saying, hey, what do you want us to do on, on this week's episode? And we had a couple of great ones. We had a couple of repeat ones, of course, which maybe we'll come back to down the road. But you thought, you know what? It's Easter. And mm -hmm. for Easter, you guys are really busy. You do a mm -hmm. lot of platters, and yep. people love doing fish around Easter. It right? is. It's. I mean, it's a busy one of the busiest weekends for us of the is, whole year, eh? and okay. that's that's saying a lot. Yeah. Because um, everybody eats fish on Good Friday. Right. It's the restaurants busy, takeouts busy, platters are out the door, um, and pe like people just busy in the market buying fish to cook at home. Right. And salmon just seems to be one of those beautiful things that go along with Easter. So I thought, let's I'm gonna showcase simple salmon dish. You can feed the whole family, two people, four people, which easily expandable. Nice. A couple different options for it. But some of those ideas, like the swordfish idea, I'm yeah. gonna bank that. The okay. calamari, I wanna bank that. Okay. So we won't call out, do a call out for requests. We'll just- We'll just do one we'll of those two those or, or, or both of them. We the, shall see how we're doing. Yeah, yeah, um, exactly. So I, you're choosing salmon, right? Yep. You're, you're going to a fishmonger like yourself. Yep. Why do I come to you instead of going and getting, oh, there's a deal at the grocery store for frozen salmon. So we get our, this is Black, this is from Black's Harbor, New Brunswick. It's beautiful salmon. It's farmed. It's ethically farmed. It's raised really well. We've been there. We visited. We know the guys. Okay. We get it in twice a week. We go through about 700 pounds a week. Oh, oh my And goodness. we get it direct. So it's, I mean, this guy was swimming in his pen like four days ago. Really? Eh? Yeah. So okay. it's, it's really fresh. The grocery stores have a supply chain that right. we don't have. We're right. direct to the supplier. So the grocery stores goes to Toronto and then it comes to the local and then it gets so. Right. We beat them on and with volume. Like we just, this, this is our top selling item, the Atlantic salmon in the restaurant and in the market. Okay, so, I'm not surprised. I yeah. mean, salmon's always been a, a huge favorite, right, when it comes yep. to seafood, fish and And it's really seafood. good for you. High in omega-3 fatty acids, low in cholesterol. It's just all around, it's great. It's a great protein. Kids love it. Yeah, everybody. Yeah. It's, it's a family hit. And do you sell it in different ways? You sell the whole salmon, and, and then of course you can get a whole like side. We have them pre-cut in steaks, so you can quick grab and go as you as okay. you want. And we will custom cut. Like this is kind of a portion for two or three people. Right. Um, I'm, when I pull it out of the oven, I'm pulling out a whole side, which okay. would be enough for like four or six people. Okay. Um, so. Tell the guys at the counter, I want to feed four people. We'll cut it for you. We'll skin it for you if you want. Nice. Whatever you want. We do, it is scaled, so you can eat the skin. It's oh, a, terrific. Yeah, okay. it's, it's yeah. perfect. And so you see it's on a cedar plank. Yeah. I wanted to talk, like, today I'm, I'm talking oven baked. Right. But it is really nice to do on the barbecue. It is. So we sell these cedar planks. It's a local cedar. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah, they're cut. We sell them in two different sizes. Um, you'd want to soak it for 24 hours. Okay. So take a bucket kind of submerge it, I, I take some duct tape and keep it under the water, oh, 24 smart. hours. Yeah, yeah. And then you just build it like a tray on the barbecue, preheat it, you might want, I mean, I keep a little water gun in case it flares up around the side. Right, and it takes that's just fun. Yeah, 45 general. minutes yeah. on the barbecue and you get that cedar flavor worked into it. But we're gonna make this taste delicious. Okay. We're gonna start with a little salt and pepper. All right. And you know, salt and pepper's everybody's favorite thing. Yeah, agreed. First layer, second layer. Mayonnaise, um, you know, two scoops of mayonnaise, one scoop of Dijon, give it a quick mix. Okay. If you don't like the mayo or the mustard, you can leave it out, but the nice thing about the mayo is it traps the moisture in, oh, creates a I crust, see. Right. adds a little bit of fattiness to it. Okay. Um, not that it really needs more fat, but you'll, you'll taste it in the end yeah, and right. see what I mean. Yeah. Um, and you want to put it on pretty thick. This is a dish my oh, dad you do used to, to put make. It on. Okay. Yeah, nice right. and thick for this application. Nice. My dad used to do this for Easter, um, but he wouldn't put. He would just put mayonnaise on it. Okay. And we always thought it was weird. I think it's a bit of a British thing. Um, <laughs> I mean, actually, it sounds very British. I does. can see that. Yeah. yeah. But they call it salad cream, not oh, mayonnaise. Oh, the salad cream. Yes, yeah. of course. So I like to, you know, everything he did was simple. I like to make it a little tastier. Yeah, of course. So Dijon and mayonnaise, and now we're going to add some fun to it. Okay. Capers. Just some. These are just whole capers. Which, by the way, they sell at the Pelican we as well. We sell little jars of them at the Pelican, yeah. absolutely. Fresh dill. Does dill go with any fish? Or, yeah, or is salmon the real? Safe to say it does yeah? really okay. well with salmon. Um, I just had, this was beautiful dill we had in the restaurant today. Tarragon would work well. Okay. Parsley. Oh, interesting. Um, I've never tried tarragon. Yeah, okay. tarragon, that little licorice flavor, yeah. works really well with salmon. Okay. Uh, Breadcrumb, panko. Gonna add this a is little, little, helping you get that crust you were talking about, yeah, right? Yeah, a little texture, a little crunch. Uh, you don't want to go too thick, but enough that it's, you know, covered. Yeah. Little layer. And then a bit of Parmesan cheese. 
everybody thinks that's weird, but it, it really adds a nice little. Well, that'll add to the crust as well, right? Yeah, and absolutely. Great, uh, of course, a great flavor punch. I mean, who doesn't like Parmesan? Exactly, exactly. So. That's my after workout snack. Is a big hunk of Parmesan cheese. Supposedly, it, there's a ton of protein in it. For yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah, to each their own, right? <laughs> um, if I was doing this on the barbecue, I wouldn't do the panko and the and the breadcrumb. Or sorry, okay. the, the panko and the Parmesan. Okay. I would take some thinly sliced lemon and lay some lemon on there, and then kind of it's going to baste it with the lemon juice as it cooks on the barbecue. Okay. Um, but I don't want to put the lemon on there because I'm going for the crust. Right. I'm going right. to add the lemon afterwards. Okay. So. Full side of salmon, which I'm about to pull out of the oven, was 400 degrees and it took 35 minutes. Oh, that's all, okay. Yeah. So this size, 400 degrees, I would say 20 minutes. Okay. You're looking for an internal temperature of 145 degrees. Gotcha. If you have one of those little meat thermometers. Yeah. I don't often use them for fish, but a whole baked salmon. It's sometimes a little tougher to yeah, figure out. Yeah, I'm kind of yeah, poking well it to feel if it's well done, especially right. when it's a whole side, it's hard to get the middle. So thickest part of the fish, meat thermometer in, 145 degrees. Bob's your uncle, you're off to the races. Perfection. So. We will put this in the oven, pretend oven over okay. here. Okay, it's in the oven. And then, and then out of the oven we pull our... Now this is so the this whole is the full side. Thing. Yeah. Look now, at that. Obviously I baked this in the restaurant so it's cooled off a little bit. Yeah. Um, but you can see how it's got a nice crust to it, a bit of color around the sides, the smell of it. Oh, <laughs> just it delicious. It's amazing. Yeah. And then when it comes out, just to add a little fresh pop, because you know, your Easter dinner, you want everything to look nice. Yeah. Put some chives on there for color and then you know, a little bit of then lemon. Then we can throw our lemon on. What would yeah. you serve as a, as a side with something like this? Man? Well, Derek, it's funny you ask. Okay. You know, I have to <laughs> oh, I didn't like, even see that. Yes. Okay. <laughs> man of all trades. Nice. Roasted potato, broccoli is really simple. I mean, it's Easter. You don't want to, these, this weather too, right? You yeah. don't want to be inside all day slaving over a hot stove. For sure. Be outside enjoying the afternoon. Potato, broccoli, side of rice, a salad. Bob's your uncle. You're ready to roll. Yeah. Uh, do you suggest, by the way, if, if somebody wants to do this for for Easter, should they be ordering way ahead of time? Or salmon? We don't run out of salmon. Okay. If okay. we run out of salmon, someone's getting fired. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> okay. Because like I said, it's the number one seller, Fair. especially at Easter. You're a tight over there that, at the Pelican. That's right. Okay. Um, <laughs> but you want to, I mean, if you're worried, order ahead. But we, we, we've we never run out. We have whole right. sides on the counter all day long. If it's not on the counter, just ask. Someone okay. will run back and get you a nice fresh side. And then you break it up. It's going to be a little messy. Oh, nothing wrong with that. There Look at that. Go, Thing of know. beauty. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, ben, always a pleasure. Thank you so Likewise. much for joining us today. Uh, ben will be back in about a month's time, and as promised, we'll, we'll look at either swordfish or calamari or do both. And if you want to reach out to me at, or Ben at any time on social media, let us know if you're having struggles with preparing something, we can help you out.